today's throwback. Osman Damfodio. Osman Damfodio was born in 1754 in what is now northwestern Nigeria. He was a Fulani, an itinerant pastoralist eth ethnic group. From a young age, he showed great intellectual and religious aptitude, receiving and enthusiastically acquiring comprehensive education in Islamic studies. In the early 19th century, the renowned Islamic scholar Usman Danfodio launched a jihad that is a struggle or fight against the enemies of Islam, which is called, quote unquote, the Fulani War against the Hausa kingdoms of northern Nigeria. He was victorious and established the Fulani Empire with its capital at Sakwato. Usman Danfodio was a prominent Islamic scholar, teacher, political military strategist, and sociocultural reformer in West Africa in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. In 1803, Usman Danfodio founded the Sokoto Caliphate and was elected commander of the faithful. Commander of the faithful, Amir al muminin by his followers. The Sokoto Caliphate reportedly expanded as far as Burkina Faso to parts of Cameroon and including most, if not all, of northwestern due to parts of north central and northeastern nigeria and southern niger republic at its height the caliphate included over 30 different emirates under its political architecture the caliphate ruled as the most populous empire in west africa through much of the 19th century until the 29th day of july 1903, the Second Battle of Burni concluded its dissolution with the defenestration of Sultan Muhammad Atayiru by combined British and German forces. As a scholar, Usman Damfodio advocated for a return to the pure teachings of Islam and a rejection of what he saw as corrupt practices and beliefs. He criticized the rulers of the Hausa states in northern Nigeria for their perceived deviation from Islamic principles. The Sakwato Caliphate, under him until date, became a center for Islamic scholarship, education, and political administration, and it had a significant impact on the development of Islam in West Africa. Usman Danfodio also wrote numerous books on various subjects, including Islamic law, theology, and governance. His writings continue to be influential in Islamic scholarship in West Africa. Overall, Usman Danfodio's life and teachings had a profound impact on the spread of Islam and the political and social dynamics of West Africa in the 19th century. In conclusion, like Usman Danfodio, how effectively is your life and conduct positively inspiring the qualitative transformation of the society where you live and operate? And that's it on the show tonight. I am Bola Oba. Have a good night.